Hello everybody, welcome. Uh, we've just a little bit of an update now again on, on what's, what's taking place. Um, work is frustratingly slow, um, that's just to say the least. Um, so what's happened is we have uh, the overhang has after been put on yesterday and the rest of the joists are on as well. Um, or joists or rafters, whichever you want to call them. Um, the contractor that we have uh, that's doing this work for us, or who have picked to do this work for us, has sublet it out to another man. He's just quite busy doing big projects at the minute, which I don't mind. The, the man that's doing it, I, I know him as well, and his work is, is very good. A lot of farmers will understand the weather has got really, really bad. Um, really, really wet. An awful rain falling at the moment. And we have everything in apart from 15 um, young heifers that are still out, and they cannot go in because there simply is no room. Um, I would normally have them soon. I would normally be thinking of putting them in within the next week or so. Um, they're cold, they're wet, but they have plenty of grass in front of them, but the ground is just in a mess. Um, so I really want to get them in, get them dosed, get them clipped, um, and that's not happening anytime soon, which is very, very frustrating. Can't clip them outside, obviously. There's no need to, but um, yeah, so, so it's, 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 it's big delays. So yesterday was Friday and they came uh, after few phone calls they came and they got a lot of work done. They got the overhang on, they got the last of the joists on, they got the this fascia, um this kind of an angle iron that's put on as well. Um so they did get a lot of work done for a small shed like this. It has been frustrating to say the least. It, it, it has definitely been frustrating but anyway workmanship has been excellent. Windy as always probably I hope the my iPhone is not picking up the wind too much. Um, we're kind of sheltered here with the trees, so I'm facing away from the wind. Hopefully, trying to help me that way. Uh, but yeah, so the sheeting now is basically what has to go on next. Well, no, the actual doors goes on next because the sheeting is coming out of the far side of the door. So I'll just show you now what I mean. I, I'm not look. I'm not a builder or anything, but I'm just going. This was the way they designed the shed. So the sheeting goes out past the joists, so that it comes down past the. It, it comes down past the actual track of the door, so you won't see the track of the door. The door will sit in behind the sheeting rather than flush with it in a lot of houses, which is great because the water will just drip off. Um, as well, and as well as that, the reason I think is because the walls are a wee bit lower, and if we had had the sheeting flush with the girder, it would come down and it would stop on the wall, but by the time you come over here, you have to put on a rail to carry your door. And that would mean, if you understand what I mean, that would mean the sheeting would come over and would have to step up and across for the door to give you enough height, um, um, headroom for, to win out of the door and that doesn't look awful, awfully great. So uh, so we decided, I'll just stand in here, it's a bit more shady, um, but yeah we decided then to go with this, this way, it looks much neater. It's, it's very heavily constructed, um, the construction work is, is, is brilliant, but that company are, are brilliant. Um, that, uh, that do this work uh, and that's why I chose them um, it wasn't just to do a price it's just to do it their workmanship it's just there's no there's no no corner cut um, so cheating is there there's the sheeting sitting um, it's just a matter now of getting these doors on I'm sorry I'm just trying to block this never-ending wind uh, but yeah the doors the doors are there the frames uh, it's just a matter like it wouldn't take long to sheet them doors the rollers on, hang the doors, weld on the hinges. Would like to see that done the day, and that way then they're just ready for sheeting then on Monday morning. And two days sheeting should more than do it. There's a girder there that's left. That girder is actually going to be sitting here in the cubicles. Uh, it'll sit around here, and it'll be, the cubicle is cemented around it, and the face edge will come up um, about four foot above the, the height of the cubicle. So that's just for when the gate's hung here, the adjustable gate for this last pen it can latch straight into that it'd be a nice solid job um, rather than trying to bolt a uh, girder to it after or a post to it, top of the concrete after because we did that at home on the other shed and it worked but the girder was always loose and cattle itching, itching again it and whatnot but uh, yeah so that's just a wee update on how everything is progressing ESB contacted us um, got the complete go ahead from all landowners that uh, that has to go through, and which is great news. Uh, so yeah, it, it's quite a long stretch of, of wire that has to be put in, as I was saying before, it's, it's, it's a lot, it goes through 
four, if not five different landowners' places. Just they're just replacing posts for leg for leg, basically, just upgrading the whole wiring system. Um, it needed to be done, and land's very wet at the minute, so they're going to create an awful mess probably when they go into people's land. So you know that's that's just uh, that's just unfortunate. And hopefully, hopefully, it'll not be too bad. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what's happening. They are, they are hopefully coming out in a week's time. Electrician, come as soon as I want him. He's a day or two and do all that. So um, yeah, if we could just get this roof on, everything should run fairly quickly because we can get the cubicles in then. We're not worried about rain. Um, get the apron in then next. Um, I have to run my pipes on the garters. Can't do that because there's a big lob of concrete sitting over there right on top of where the pipe is. So that just has to be scraped out with the with the fork or the loader or the or the tooth of the digger. And when that's done, then I can run my pipes. I'll be doing that on Monday or Tuesday. Running the pipes up here and getting them up on the girders. A few minutes will do that. Half an hour. Get that whole thing done. And uh, the wall then, I have a lad coming today just to have a look at the wall here that's gone up the curb wall. Yeah, it's, it's, that's the way we're going with it now. Either a four inch or a cavity block. Probably a four inch block on its flat. And uh, he's going to be ready to start that as soon as the concrete is in. Well, when it's set, after a few days, he'll be he'll start that so but that's not a big panic we're not too worried about that wall yet or the crush or things the crush obviously goes in when it's been cemented so it'll be going in anyway um but the wall at the back we're not not too worried that can be built away when when the cattle are in um the main priority now is to get the concrete that large concrete place uh, done it's not ideal by no means ideal for obvious reasons it's, it's not the time of year for for really concrete and it's very cold you have a lot of raining nearly every day you have a lot of leaves falling as well um so it's not ideal but it's the way the thing panned out um so we'll see whether we decide to put in the whole yard or not um that'll be worked out um in the next week or so uh, but definitely obviously the apron has to go in the yard will go in um i want the yard in and the crush in so uh, look if you can get two dry days without any frost that's it we'd be flying that's it that's me giving out for the day <laughs> it's not all that bad uh it'll, it'll all come together i know it will it's 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 just uh, i would like to be at it every day and i've great oh i have great admiration for people who's, who's working at these kind of businesses and trying to keep keep construction work going because it's a stressful it's definitely a stressful thing um when you're when you're when you're on, when you're running on a timeline definitely so but uh yeah, that's it anyway folks uh as always oh yeah should throw this into we've reached a thousand subscribers my kids got up this morning and when i came in from milking they were roaring and cheering daddy you, you've reached a thousand subscribers i checked on my phone just to just to make sure they were they were right and the way our course so um brilliant over the moon it's it's great now i told you i do a, a personal video um on um just a, a, on on the workings of the farm or information about the farm um, and whatnot so yeah definitely do that hard coming up with videos that keep people interested in winter time because um, a lot of it's nearly all cattle work uh, which farmers love but other other people that are maybe from the non-background um, community might not like just watching animals all the time they might like to see machinery uh, young kids love seeing machinery work and things like that that'll all come in the springtime and summer it'll be all machinery work um, we've got loads of machinery we haven't shown um, on the videos yet and uh, yeah there, there'll be exciting things to go through most of the machinery are all fairly new and fresh so um, I look forward to and, and there's a couple of big purchases that are going to be made next year beginning of the year one including a hedge cutter and other including possibly a new tractor and loader so yeah keep tuned for that that's in the works at the moment um, so uh, yeah uh, this is We'll be we'll be doing detailed videos and all those things so until the next one um as always thank you very much if you haven't subscribed and you like these videos please do so uh give us a like hit that little bell up on the right hand corner if you want to see more and thanks for watching bye now